how's it going there? Hello, hello everyone. Trying, it's time to do this awesome beer. It's supposed to be an awesome beer. Trappist Rochford. Rochford? Rochfort. Time to do a big beer review. A big monster. Yeah. This sucker is 11.3% alcohol by volume. This is number 10. Authentic Trappist product. It says it's from Abbey Notre Dame Saint de Saint Remy, Rochford, Belgium. Belgium style Abbey beer. And there's not much to read on the back. There's a couple different languages here. Uh, all it says uh, an English brewed with water, malted, malted barley, sugar, non malted cereal, cereals, yeast, and hop. Made in Belgium. This is good till 2019. <laughs> yeah, so let's pour this. Let's give this one. Let's give this one a go. Time to try it out. It didn't. It's not gonna. I'm gonna pour it up in my afflisium glass. Afflisium glass. <laughs> See what we got here. Oh my. She's coming out foamy right out of the bottle. Okay, I'm not gonna pour up a whole whack of it. <laughs> Could this be another Golden Drock episode? I don't know. Look how dark that is. <clears throat> I knew it was very dark. That looks beautiful. I knew it was very dark. Look at look how dark that sucker is. Nice and dark. Can't quite even can't even quite see through it. Should we get the flashlights out? Should everybody haul the flashlights out? Oh my! There's a good. There's a good uh, storm coming up in the middle of it. Up in the middle there. I see it. I see it through the flashlight. <laughs> Give this a sniff. <clears throat> wow. Big, uh, big sugary malt cereal kind of aroma. Can't really get anything out of the bottle. But, yeah, it's just got like a real sweet... Sweet caramel, sugar, or sweet and sugar. There's no sweet aroma, but there's a sugar aroma. No, just kidding. I'm only messing around. Yeah, sweet caramel, cereal, uh, and malt, basically. <laughs> you can pick up that there's definitely huge malt. <laughs> That's the aroma. Cheers. Let's go to the taste. <laughs> oh boy oh boy another another big beer another big powerful flavorful beer boosting boasting with flavors oh wow yeah another good one thank goodness thank goodness I picked the good beers it's another good one and it's reminding me a lot of the Golden Drock it's just, it's almost in the exact same, almost the very same beer. Very, very close. This one's got um, a, probably a little heavier carbonation than that one did. Um, this one's, I think this one's slightly sweeter than the Golden Drock. I don't want to. I don't sit here and compare this just to the Golden Drock, but <clears throat> and then there's the Chimay Blue. But you know they're they're all the same kind of beers, all in the same category. But this one is this is very nice. I like to tell you there's there's definitely a huge um, there's definitely a big uh, carbonation to this one. But uh, <coughs> but there's a, a pretty heavy sweetness on this one. I think it's this one that's a little sweeter than the other ones. This one reminds me probably more of the Chimay Blue than than probably the than the Golden Rock, and I don't want to mention that again. So, eleven point three percent. I think I think I'm I think I'm picking up the alcohol just a bit, but it's actually smoothed out very well, masked very well, um, just a very fine hint of the alcohol. Being at 11.3, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. It's 
definitely a very sweet beer. Very, you know, a little over the top as far as sweetness is concerned. You know, it's not my not my favorite style of beer again, but I think it's very nice. Um, very complex, very strong, very flavorful, very malty, and, and very sweet. Um, <clears throat> I can't say that, in my personal opinion, it's a brilliant beer. I'm getting I'm getting just a little bit of the heat from the alcohol now in the back of my throat. Just a little bit. So, yeah, definitely definitely a kicker. I can't say this is this beer to me is a brilliant beer. I could, you know, it's very good. It is very good. I can't say it's an amazing, amazing beer, but I'm also not a huge fan of this style. So, I guess with that being said, I'd go I I'd probably put this in a rating at about 4 to 4 to 5 out of 5 for me. Um, yeah. I think the Golden Drock, one more time I mentioned it, ah, I think the Golden Drock was just a little bit better for me. You know, a little bit more fine, refined, a little smoother, a little, you know, just more, a little bit more balanced. This one here is just, uh, it's good, but it's it's got a he heavy sweetness to it. Anyways, yeah. There it is. Well, there it is. That's, that's the last one I've got for these Belgian males. I don't got any more right now. But uh, there's the uh, Trappist Rochford 10. Cheers. Keep your mugs full. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.